Uh, Monty, are you a friend? A uh, friend, Jesus fuck. Are, are you a friend of Sam Raimi? Uh, are you a friend? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> oh, Sammy, yeah, he comes over all the time. Oh, Sammy, friend. yeah. Um, <laughs> Evil Dead. Oh yeah. What What did you think about the reboot? Uh, you know, I think that the reboot was um, I think it was different, but it was it was kind of what I feel like Sam Raimi wanted to do. Yeah, but didn't have the budget or the special effects for. I, well, it, I g- genuinely, I love them both. Yeah, so do I. And yeah. that's that's not very common, especially with remakes, especially for a remake of a cult classic horror movie. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Well, what do you think about a re remake or re reboot with Sam Raimi? Yeah, Bruce Campbell or I Riot. <laughs> he, uh, Bruce Campbell's not going to be in this. Uh, e- Evil Dead that's Rise it. movie update Just on the spot. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, but that's it. It, it, people said that about 2013 reboot. Yeah, and yeah, now that's it's like, true. To me, that's like the quintessential. How that's how you reboot a movie. That's Honestly, how I, I'll just fanboy over Bruce Campbell any chance I can. Well, Bruce Campbell was in that movie. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying though, like, uh, if I could, I would invite him now. <laughs> Um, well, Evil Dead Rise movie update. Evil Dead Rise is going to be, uh, I don't know if it's going to be a continuation or just uh, somehow it's going to revitalize the franchise. And Sam Raimi himself came, uh, was talking to Slash Film and he said, I've seen a rough cut of Evil Dead Rise, a medium a, a medium fine cut, a fine cut. There's probably a few changes that Lee Cronin uh, is making that I haven't seen, but it's great. It's terrifying and it's going to knock people's socks off. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much take that with a grain of salt because it's Fair his enough. baby, and he's never he's not gonna be like, no, no, nobody wants to see this piece of shit. I think no. I think if that if that was the case, he would say something like that. Cause he isn't making this movie. Yeah. You know? No, but it's his legacy. Right. He's still a producer on it. He's he's still his name's still attached to it. <laughs> I, I the first thing that comes to my mind when uh, when when you bring up something like somebody's legacy being uh, redone in a way, is I think of the Mortal Kombat movie, the most recent one, and the creator of Mortal Kombat, Ed Boon, talking about it before it came out. <laughs> because he was involved with it vaguely. <laughs> and, <Ed Boon. laughs> and there were interviewers, because at this point, nobody had any information on the movie. So people were asking him, like, what do you think? You know, have you have you seen any cuts? And he was like, yeah, I've seen some cuts. And then that was it. That's all he'd say. And everybody was like, you, everybody was like, Ed Boone not saying at least something like, oh yeah, it's fun. Or, oh yeah, I enjoyed it. Boone. Yeah, it's like everything, everything's, everything's going good. Like, not even I don't know something why. like that was very concerning. I picture Ed Boone talking in third person everywhere he goes for some reason. I don't know why. Just after watching, I rewatched. Mortal Kombat or Mortal Kombat Annihilation. And oh my God, are those movies just fucking gold? <laughs> Comedic gold, all right? <laughs> that... <laughs> you I, must um... go on a, on a spirit quest, Luke Kane. <laughs> the next God. quest, Lust. God, that new movie, <laughs> that new movie was such a disappointment. It was an excellent movie for about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, uh, luckily they had, uh, I forgot the actor's name who played uh, Kano, but... Um, yeah, he, luckily he, they had him. He carried that movie on his back. That like, whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you make some of the most interesting right. characters boring as fuck? Again, again. <laughs> how? how could you do this? They even had great actors playing fucking Scorpion and Sub Zero. They had great actors. Yo, yeah, yeah. Gave so, them fucking what, what, like two lines each. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and yeah, and Scorpion all of a sudden learns English out of nowhere. Just yeah, what speaks the fuck? English. I'm pretty sure the only English get over line, here. The I'm... only English line he speaks that entire movie is "Get over here." Yeah, I'm contractually obligated to say that line in English. Yeah, <laughs> and the way he delivers it is just weird. I, hey, get over here, silly. <laughs> get over here, you big silly goose. <laughs> but <laughs> you big brute. About stab you and stuff. <laughs> about <laughs> Evil Dead. I knife. I like this franchise, kind of. Like, I enjoyed what I watched of Ash vs. Evil Dead. I liked the Evil Dead reboot or remake or whatever. I went back and watched Evil Dead 2 the other day. Mm -hmm. I think that franchise might just be a little outdated for me. 
I do like, love Army of the Dead, and I know it's not everyone's favorite, but for some reason, it really is my favorite. I you mean Army of that. Darkness? Army of Darkness, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I have not watched Army of Darkness yet. I think dude, I might watch that tonight. I'm just trying yeah. to... I'm just trying to get ready for Doctor Strange, but like, dude, I um, love I love Army of Darkness. The director's cut and the normal cut are both just <laughs> fucking golden. Seth, I'm with you, man. Like, I, I'm not a like I'm not against it, but I'm not the hugest fan of Sam Raimi's Evil Dead. Now, what what got me into the Evil Dead franchise was the 2013 reboot, and when I watched that, still to this day, I consider that one of the bloodiest, best slash movies I've ever seen. And I love the concept. I love the story being told. It, it, like it, it just goes back and forth. You feel for the one guy. He keeps getting killed over and over, or not killed, but like hurt over and over again. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you know who oh, I'm talking it's about. It's worse in the extended cut too. Oh, like worse. so much oh, worse. Yeah. But then when Ash versus Evil Dead showed up on uh, Showtime, and I started showing up on Netflix rather, that's when I was like, wait, I gotta check this stuff out. And I went and watched some of the older ones. Um, and like, dude, like that's that's the ash i love ash versus evil dead and it, i was so god blessed disappointed when i found out okay so at the end of the 2013 reboot of evil dead you go through all the credits and everything bruce campbell shows up and he shows up at the very at the very end credit and he's like he just looks at the camera and just groovy you know and they he they the sequel to that movie was him and mia from that uh, from that Evil Dead, we're gonna mass match up in like a multi-dimensional multiverse sort of thing, and it was gonna like come to fruition. And they were that what that movie was supposed to be was what that Ash versus Evil Dead became. Yeah, you know, and she would uh, man, what a missed opportunity that was. But I, but the 2013 reboot for me, that's the one I would love to see continued. And as excited as I am to see Evil Dead rise. It's almost, it, it, I feel like it's going to be like the Batman for me, where I know if, if it's good, then it's going to be good, but I'm going to be, man, I'm going to be over here wishing I was watching a Ben Affleck Batman movie. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to be watch, wishing I was watching a Jane Levy Evil Dead movie. Yeah. Instead, you know, like that's, that. I feel like that's where I'm going to land. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe it will come out and be like, dude, fuck that 2013 reboot. This is it. I don't know. Um, I, yeah, I, I think the old Evil Dead movies are a little a little outdated for my taste. They're not bad, though. Or at least I uh, I only watched Evil Dead 2. It's not like a bad movie. I didn't dislike it. It's just, yeah. I don't know, certain aspects about it. I will say I think this, that's though. outdated. Watch the first one. Oh, yeah, dude. The first there, one's wild, man. There clay was... animation at its best. Oh, the second <laughs> one had quite a bit of clay animation. Oh, the um, first yeah. one's even worse. <laughs> Evil, there were some moments, though. Half. There were some moments in Evil Dead 2, though, that actually made me laugh out loud. Like, oh, yeah. like just, just little things. Like, there's that one part where, like, the lamp starts, like, laughing, and then, like, the deer head starts laughing. <laughs> the clock <laughs> starts laughing, and I'm just like, what am I watching right now? Yeah, and then Ash just like, starts laughing, too. Yeah, like, they both the just start laughing. Going? And then it all just stops. Yeah. And there's this, other one, there's this other part where there's, like, a hole in the wall, and there's, like, a little bit of blood dripping through, and Ash is just, like... Like trying to look at this, is that blood? And then blood just like a mountain of blood just just like pushes him back like a fire hose. And I, I thought that was kind of funny. It's like it's You're... like that scene in UHF. What's he yeah, wearing? Exactly. He to drink from the fire hose. <laughs> it's exactly like that. It starts off with like the smallest bit, and he like looks closer, and then it just, just he just flies across the room. That, that would actually make me laugh. Right Army there. of Darkness takes that comedic slash horror thing. And fucking just sets it to ten. It's like, dude, fuck it now, man. Just make it yeah, hilarious. I, I feel like Ash versus Evil Dead was pretty much Army of Darkness continuation. You know, like oh yeah, it, that, that's like that's that same that's, that, that's the realm. You know, yeah. You know, the rights to Evil Dead is so complicated. There's like three different companies that own the rights to this franchise. Yeah, sweet, it's wild. And, <laughs> it complicated bringing things full circle back to Mortal Kombat. Ash was supposed to be in the most recent game. Yeah. But because of rights and stuff, they couldn't do it. Because there's like, there's one company that owns Army of Darkness. Then there's a different company that owns Ash from Evil Dead, but not Evil Dead. Or, I mean, he, they own Ash from Evil Dead 2, but not Evil Dead 2. And then there's like another company that owns Ash versus Evil Dead. And then, like, there's, there's, it's super complicated for no reason. Like, well, it's not for no reason. What it is is like when you're an early filmmaker and you're not getting given very much money to get this movie 
you, you go around to different producers and you're like, okay, well, I'll sell you a slice of this. I'll, I'll you yeah. can have, uh, you know, 10% of the rights, you know, and then once you whore out your movie, I mean, Marvel, Marvel still trying to bounce back from doing the same thing when they sold all their comic book properties to different movie studios. It was yeah. the same, same concept, just, you know, just Sam Raimi. So, all right, well, there you go. Evil Dead Rise movie update. I'm meh about it. Uh, mostly because I wish Jane Levy was coming back. I really want to see Mia continue. I really I'm constantly optimistic. Yeah, I, I, that, that's a good way to put it. You know, <laughs> as much as they say it, I still think Bruce Campbell's going to show up in this movie. I don't think he's going to have a starring role or anything, but I think he will show up at some point. Yeah. Like, see, uh... Especially with Sam Raimi being involved. Like, oh, I, yeah. I, The way I look at Bruce Campbell and Ash is the way I look at Mark Hamill and the Joker. It doesn't matter how many times you say you're done. All Sam Raimi needs to do is call Bruce Campbell and be like, hey, you want to do this? Bruce, he's not going to say no. Oh, like, of right. course, he's, I would doubt it. They have they started each other's careers. Like, Bruce Campbell would absolutely say yes to that, especially if it was just for a short cameo. I started the, your career, and I'm going to end it. I'm not coming <laughs> back. Hail to the chin, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I got right. to meet Bruce Campbell once while we're still on this. Oh, no shit. And I just want to say how fucking cool he was in real life, and that I, I'm still... I wish I never washed his hand. You know, you know what I... You know what I wish i knew back in 2014 you know you... how big bitcoin is gonna be <laughs> <laughs> we went to uh, comic con his investment conscious mind Fuck. yeah we went to comic con in 2014 do you remember that but no I, I it was the first time i saw my idol in front of me and i had a press pass <laughs> no i don't remember it i only found out recently that bruce campbell was there and like then i didn't know who didn't he know was either. of course it, I, now, I honestly I I got I made myself mad because I went and looked at all the guests that were there and there were a lot of people there. <laughs> like obviously Robert England was there, Bruce Campbell was there, uh John Carlo was there. He plays the villain in Breaking Bad. He was there. Um John Bernthal, who plays the Punisher in Daredevil, was there. Oh, yeah. There was like a lot of people there that I just did not know were there. <laughs> he came I, uh he came to my old uh Marine base and just I don't even know what the hell for. He just showed up. And I'm, <laughs> so, hey, got the MREs? Ruby. Ah, like, oh, Bruce Campbell. And he's like, yep, come on down. Where's the pitches at? <laughs> I never get sick of that. <laughs> <laughs>